Do you know the difference between perimenopause and menopause? Hi everyone, welcome again Sisters Keeper. If you're new to my channel, I'm Anu. This is our community where I talk about a few of my favorite things, which are a healthy lifestyle, our health, fitness, weight loss, and of course in a class of its own, perimenopause and solutions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos. Better still, it's a good idea to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to watch new interesting episodes. Watch out for shorter but equally interesting and helpful videos on all our socials at SistersKeeper42. I have put a few frequently asked questions on menopause together and this video is part 1. Question 1. What is the difference between perimenopause and menopause? Perimenopause and menopause are two distinct stages in a woman's reproductive life. Let's look at the difference between the two stages. First, perimenopause, also known as the menopausal transition, is the stage leading up to menopause. Perimenopause often starts in a woman's 40s, but can start as early as the 30s. During perimenopause, the ovaries gradually produce fluctuating levels of estrogen, sometimes a lot less than usual and sometimes a lot more than normal, and menstrual cycles can become irregular. Progesterone and testosterone also decline gradually and also result in several symptoms. Symptoms such as hot flashes, mood swings, sleep disturbances and vaginal dryness can occur. Despite the hormonal changes, pregnancy can still occur during perimenopause although fertility declines. Postmenopause follows perimenopause and begins one year after a woman's last menstrual period. It is a lifelong stage where the body has completed the transition of menopause. During this stage, estrogen levels remain low and most symptoms experienced during perimenopause tend to subside eventually. However, some women may still experience symptoms such as vaginal dryness, low libido, and mood changes. It's important to note that perimenopause and postmenopause are natural stages of a woman's reproductive life and each woman's experience can be unique. If you have concerns or questions about menopause, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice. I am a certified menopause wellbeing practitioner and mentor. I support women through their transition with solutions to help manage their symptoms. If you require an assessment or assistance, please leave a comment for me below or see my contact details in my bio. Question 2. At what time does a woman become postmenopausal? On average, women reach menopause in their early 50s, so postmenopause typically begins around that age. However, it's important to note that every woman's experience with menopause can vary. Question 3. Are postmenopause symptoms worse than perimenopause? Arriving at postmenopause doesn't necessarily mean the abrupt end of bothersome menopause symptoms. The symptoms typically associated with menopause like hot flashes and mood swings can occur for some time after. Women who have reached menopause can expect menopause symptoms to become worse than they were during perimenopause. Question 4. What are the solutions for perimenopause and postmenopause symptoms? Regular exercise, healthy eating habits, getting enough sleep at night, help us stay stronger which makes us more able to withstand the changes that occur as estrogen levels drop. Do you have any other questions on the menopause transition? Please type it out in the comments below and let's talk about it. Take good care of yourself. Don't forget to be your sister's keeper. I'll talk to you soon.